All right. Sorry, I'm having uh, some Google, uh, YouTube sign-in problems this morning. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is here. Hey, boy, we have got a lot of landmarks today. Hold on. It says no data. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, but... but it says I'm live, but then it says no data. Now it's saying excellent connection. What is going on, folks? It's always something, right? Well, hello. So, uh, I was looking at the map this morning, and when we landed uh, last end of the last show, we were at EDFE, Echo Delta Foxtrot Echo. Okay, so I zoomed out on the uh, the world map, just kind of take a look around. I'm like, oh my god, look at all this. So like this whole everything in Frankfurt, like everything is is in there. Look at all of these points of interest. This is this is what we're doing today. I don't know if this is going to interest you or not. I don't know if you want to do any flying around today or not. But that's basically all I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to be look I I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through most of these. But we're going to have a real long look at Frankfurt today. So, wow. Um, also, I noticed uh, that I made a mistake, and I didn't have certain things installed, like the Germany cities update. I didn't have it installed, so I've got that installed now. Um, and I've, uh, because we're so close to France and Belgium, I thought I'd go ahead and get those installed. And Anyway, there were some things that weren't properly installed and hopefully we'll have a better uh time of looking around okay um but let me get this shot off here if you have any questions about microsoft flight simulator or flying or anything in general please don't be afraid to don't be afraid to throw that out all right that's fine then you won't be available to fly today that's yeah, that it all works out okay so we're here again we're here down at uh E D F E. Dun, 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 dun. And so all we'll do is take a short trip up north in this plane. Uh let's let's go to Neofly and see if we can get any jobs that are that take us to Frankfurt. Fifty. No. So this will just be a free flying uh see if we can do this. Oh yeah. Minimum twenty. I'm hoping to find one that'll take us right to it. Might as well try to make a little bit of money if we can. And what goes beyond it. Lower this some more. Probably more than that. Be more than that. Bum, 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 bum. I hope you had a good weekend. I did. It, as always, way too short. Way, way too short. We did have some nice snow here this weekend, but uh, it's already heated up, and most of that is gone now. So, all right, we're just going to go ahead and fly. It's going to be a good day when my favorite pilot is working. Why, thank you. Hello, pilot. The cargo is waiting for you at the usual location. Well, we'll from dispatch. The cargo door is open and the cargo is being transferred. What will stand out is the building from Commerce Bank, Germany's biggest building. I don't know how we ended up having a job assigned to us. I don't recall. I didn't click anything. Pretty rainy right now, but screwed up some things at the airport. Uh-oh. Let's see what, uh, what is it doing? EDFE. So maybe this is the job we didn't, maybe I shut it down before we got paid for this mission. Let's see what it does here. Should be transporter loading is complete let's go that makes no sense at all everything looks good from where i'm sitting taxi to 
the runway and take off. Uh, let me see what happens if I shut the engine down here real quick. I think I logged out before getting paid for the job last week. Let's see if it counts here in a moment. Oh, you're not seeing it. Auto scene switcher. Start. What I'm talking about is I've got a job listed here still. We'll give it a few seconds, see if it does anything. Oh, really? You were having some oil pressure problems with your glider this weekend? All right, so it doesn't look like we're going to get paid for anything. So, uh, I'm not sure. So I'll just go ahead and cancel this job. Pilot, stand by. The cargo is being removed. All right. And in case we have any Bush Talk audios, we'll get that loaded. Great. Right. There we go. And I don't I think we're still set up in glider mode. Let me check this. Sorry, I don't have I didn't get all this done beforehand. Yeah, we're still in. Oh, that's the right one. Okay. Where I'm sitting. Wow. Taxi. So you were having all kinds of issues this weekend. That's interesting. I would definitely like to learn something like that. I don't know if, if I don't have the brain for it. I'm sure I do, but wow, that's a lot of a lot to know. All right, so kick back and then and enjoy. We're gonna go to Frankfurt again. There's just tons and tons and tons of landmarks. I uh, I wish that you know there's so many things you can see from the world map, but then when you come into the VFR map, like to try to find things. Let's see if I, I doubt they're in here. Um, but it's one of those. It's like once you get in here, now you don't know where anything is at. So there is no way for me to now find all of those lovely landmarks in here. Which I don't understand why they don't use the same map for the world map as the VFR map. Or something similar to where, I mean, well, you know, now I have no idea what I'm looking for. right so uh, that kind of blows I hadn't thought about that before starting up uh, you're going to buy the SU27 soon after that the F16 or F team what would you prefer oh it makes no difference to me I have no idea How do we get out here? Um, okay, so I'm not using the right control setup. 
Shouldn't be switching views. Or that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, up, up, and away. And off we go to... Enjoy your personal flight, pilot. Well, thank you very much. Jobs after you land. Yes, we can. And we need to head north. But the simul actually now in here, all of these markers should be... All those landmark markers should be in here, just in the hut. So Henning says one of the landmarks we're, we're not going to be able to mistake is a, a giant bank. You know what we should do is get a uh, find a, an airport that's actually a lot closer to Frankfurt and get a helicopter or the Volo. But the Volo has just a, such a short battery, it's like 15 minutes of flight time. The Volocopter, it's really awesome. It's really nice for sightseeing, but yeah, no battery life. Yeah, I see a bunch of points starting to show up now. Zeppelinheim. So in less than a month, you'll be taken to the skies again. That's nice. Uh, in the chat room, Henning's there, and if you have any real-world glider pilot questions, he probably will be able to answer them for you. So if you have any, uh, he is available. He's in there right now. He's not flying with us today, can't fly, but he is in the chat room. Probably shouldn't be speaking for him. There's that bank, your, uh, well, Deutsche Bank Park. Let me get down lower to the ground here. Pause right there. Deutsch Bank Park. Uh, a nice stadium for soccer, it looks like. What an, that's very much like the old Colosseum roof, like Roman Colosseum. That's nice. Let's check uh, Bush Talk and see if any of this is... in here marker not log us in do to do let me check in here we're logged in here this was yeah it says we're signed in there no it's it's probably me I mean uh well I don't know if it's me or not I, honestly I don't today uh, everything should be running fine. 
but you know the internet uh there shouldn't be a reason why it's running slow today could actually be running good today i mean i did a lot of maintenance on the computer this weekend cleaning things up see about logging in here The Wall Stadium, currently known as the Deutsche Bank Park for sponsorship purposes, and formerly known as the Karmas Bank Arena, is a retractable roof sports stadium in Frankfurt, Hesse, Germany. The home stadium of the football club Eintracht Frankfurt, it was opened in 1925. The stadium has been upgraded several times since then, the most recent remodeling was its redevelopment as a football-only stadium in preparation for the 2005 FIFA Confederations Cup and 2006 FIFA World Cup. With a capacity of 51,500 spectators for league matches and 48,500 for American football and international football matches, it is among the 10 largest football stadiums in Germany. The stadium was one of the nine venues of 2011 FIFA Women's World Cup and hosted four matches including the final. The sports complex, which is owned by the city of Frankfurt, includes the actual stadium and other sports facilities, including a swimming pool, a tennis complex, a beach volleyball court and a winter sports hall. The arena has its own railway station, Frankfurt Stadion, on the National Rail Network. All right, it won't let me go down into it, but it's it's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Oh. Here we are. Okay. So the next landmark here... I wish they would make the text bigger and stand out. Telecom Germany offices. Yeah, I, I feel the lag here in the in the actual simulator. Okay. All right. So, Telecom Germany. Definitely getting a lot better city photogrammetry on some of these. We've had really generic cities. And again, it could have been because I didn't have a uh, city pack updated. Not really sure, but we'll know more as we keep flying around. That's nice. Seeing the cranes. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's so hard to read these damn things when the text is white. They should put, like, yellow brackets behind them or something. Brown Plaza Frankfurt Congress Hotel. Ruby Tower. Check YouTube, see what they say. They say we have an excellent connection, so I, I don't, I don't know. Is that a Nestle building? Sure is. Nestle. Almost looks like Sheridan. Sure it is. Sure it is. Sheridan. A lot of construction going on over here. Oh, 
on street a nova power station stall shut settle down Yeah, I'm getting some pretty bad lag here, too. It's probably because it's just such a... Probably, I'm guessing. Because it's such a huge city with so many landmarks. Because everything down here has turned way down already. Everything's it's already too low out here. Okay. The great... Uh, the... The locks. Five hundred. Christian Weir and locks. You see. Well, how do you get through? So it raises, or it low. It would have to raise. I don't know if it's an actual lock, right? No, I doubt it's you. Very much. Well, that's just a neat hill in general. It's got no marker on it, but you know, just in the middle, said, "Hey, let's just let's just have a neat hill." Interesting buildings around. It almost looks like a power plant. Actually, that kind of looks like sewer. Wastewater. Very industrial. The giant railway system through here. Lots of tracks. Very industrial. Full area. Yeah, very laggy here, too. I'm getting a lot of stuttering.
bold Netter Raider Bridge. Station, An old bridge, old meter raider bridge. Main Neckar Bridge, Thermal Power Station. One half main station, often abbreviated ah. as Frankfurt HBF and sometimes translated as Frankfurt Central Station, is the busiest railway station in Hesse, Germany. The affix main comes from the city's full name, Frankfurt am Main. Because of its location near the middle of Germany and usage as a transport hub for long and short distance traveling, Deutsche Bahn refers to it as the most important station in Germany. The appearance of the station is divided into the parent track hall and a vestibule reception hall. Dominant in those parts built in 1888 are neo-Renaissance features. The outer two halls, added in 1924, follow the style oh, yeah. of classicism. The eastern facade of the vestibule features a large clock with two symbolic statues for day and night. Above the clock, the word Hauptbahnhof and the Deutsche Bahn logo are situated. The roof of the front hall carries a monumental statue of Atlas supporting the world on his shoulders, in this case assisted by two allegorical figures representing iron and steam. Man, that is one heck of a rail yard. I wonder if this is the, I don't know if this is the station proper, if that's part of the station proper over here. This may, it looks more like a hotel. It's nice. Nice little spires on there. Lovely architecture. This is probably the terminal. I wonder if we'll be able to see those statues. Very much known for its delays, huh? Nice eagle. Well, that's nice. There's Atlas. Hey, yeah, there's day and night. Yeah, we got the statues. There we are. And then Atlas. Up there. That's great. That is yeah, it's definitely humongous. Well, I can imagine it's it's busy, you know, or it has delays. I mean, look at how big. Look at how many many people. How much service they have to do here. Man. Okay, trying to make some of this other stuff out here. Frankfurt Hall, Rand Tower. West End Tower. Office Center. Holbein Bridge. University Hospital. 
This is a neat little, uh... Stall. Stall. Hotels on the river. The Opera Frankfurt is one of the leading opera companies in Europe and voted Best Opera House of the Year several times since 1996, including 2020. Opera in Frankfurt am Main has a long tradition, with many world premieres such as Franz Schrecker's Der Fernklang in 1912, Fenimore und Gerda by Frederick D. Lius in 1919, and Karl Orff's Carmina Burana in 1937. Frankfurt's international recognition began in the Gielen era, 1977 to 1987, when Michael Gielen and stage directors such as Ruth Berghaus collaborated. A historic opera house from 1880 was destroyed in World War II and reconstructed as a concert hall, Alt Oper. The present opera house, built in 1963, is under one roof with a stage for drama. The opera orchestra is called Frankfurter Opern und Museumsorchester. Today's venue for Baroque and contemporary opera is the Bockenheimer Depot, a former tram depot. Oper Frankfurt is part of the Städtische Bern and Frankfurt. There it is, new opera. This is the structure here. <coughs> Some nice artwork outside. Oh, I'm gonna have to go over there and make a thread on the forum. You see how when you see an airplane in the sky, look look in the distance. You see DLH nine eighty one. There's a there's an airplane out there, and it's got the gray bounding box behind it. They have got to do something like that. It is so hard for me to read these markers. I don't know about you, but I guess my eyesight isn't the best. But when you got white on white, it's so hard to read. And I would I need to go over there and make a thread and say, please do something about that. Okay. Frankfurt, officially Frankfurt am Main is the most populous city in the German state of Hesse. It's 763,380 inhabitants as of 2019 make it the fifth most populous city in Germany. Located on its namesake Main River, the city is the heart of the larger Rhine-Main metropolitan region, which has a population of more than 5.6 million and is Germany's second largest metropolitan region after the rhine ruhr region. Like France and Franconia, the city is named after Beautiful. the Franks. Frankfurt is culturally, ethnically, religiously diverse, with half of its population and a majority of its young people having a migrant background. As of 2017, Frankfurt is the 14th wealthiest city in the world. Frankfurt is a global hub for commerce, culture, education, tourism, and transportation, and rated as an alpha world city according to Gard Dubsi. It is the site of many global and European corporate headquarters. In addition, Frankfurt Airport is the busiest in Germany, one of the busiest in the world. The airport with the most direct routes in the world, the primary hub for Lufthansa, the national airline of Germany. Frankfurt is one of the major financial centers of the European continent, with the headquarters of the European Central Bank, Frankfurt Stock Exchange, Deutsche Bank, several cloud fintech startups, automotive, technology and research, services, consulting. Media and creative industries complement the economic base. Major fairs include the Music Fair and the Frankfurt Book Fair, the world's largest book fair. Frankfurt is home to influential educational institutions, the Goethe University, the UAS, the Fumper. Its renowned cultural venues include the Concert Hall Alt Oper, Continental Europe's largest English theatre, and many museums. Frankfurt Skyline, especially that of its central business district is shaped by some of Europe's tallest skyscrapers. The city has many notable various green areas and parks, including the Central Wallenlagen, the City Forest, two major botanical gardens, and Frankfurt Zoo. Uh, the reason why I pause when it's doing that thing, if I move 
if if I keep going, I'm, it might not trigger the next audio, or I might go over. Uh, either way, I just need to stop when she starts talking. And sure enough, man, those are some serious skyscrapers. Beautiful churches. Beautiful architecture. The whole country is beautiful. Even the industrial parts look cool. Church of the Three Kings. Five hundred. Damn, I get so stop. Okay, so Church of the Three Kings. Looks like an abbey. Linder Hotel Main Plaza. European Central Bank is the central bank of the Eurozone, a monetary union of 19 EU member states which employ the euro. Established by the Treaty of Amsterdam, the ECB is one of the world's most important central banks and serves as one of seven institutions of the European Union, being enshrined in the Treaty on European Union. The bank's capital stock is owned by all 27 central banks of each EU member state. The current president of the ECB is Christine Lagarde. Headquartered in Frankfurt, Germany, the bank formerly occupied the Eurotower prior to the construction of its new seat. The primary objective of the ECB, mandated in Article 2 of the Statute of the ECB, is to maintain price stability within the Eurozone. Its basic tasks, set out in Article 3 of the Statute, are to set and implement the monetary policy for the Eurozone to conduct foreign exchange operations, to take care of the foreign reserves of the European system of central banks and operation of the financial market infrastructure under the Target 2 payment system and the technical platform for settlement of securities in Europe. The ECB has, under Article 16 of its statute, the exclusive right to authorize the issuance of euro banknotes. Member states can issue euro coins, but the amount must be authorized by the ECB beforehand. On the 1st of December 2009, the Treaty of Lisbon entered into force, ECB according to the Article 13 of TEO, gained official status of an EU institution. The ECB is governed by European law directly, but its setup resembles that of a corporation in the sense that the ECB has shareholders and stock capital. Its capital is 11 billion euros held by the national central banks of the member states as shareholders. The initial capital allocation key was determined in 1998 on the basis of the state's population and GDP, but the capital key has been adjusted. Shares in the ECB are not transferable and cannot be used as collateral. When the ECB was created, it covered a eurozone of 11 members. Since then, Greece joined in January 2001. Slovenia in January 2007, Cyprus and Malta in January 2008, Slovakia in January 2009, Estonia in January 2011, Latvia in January 2014, and Lithuania in January 2015. Okay. 
Lag, 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 lag. More shipping. Lots of shipping. Another bridge. Lots of bridges. All right, let's do a spin around. Oh, this is so, so painful. Not pretty at all. Go check out all these skyscrapers. City Gate. Oh, there's a unique structure over there. Museum of Modern Art. Get into the heart of this here. Church of Our Lady. 500. 500. Okay. I do want to check out the Museum of Modern Art. Cool. They got all the solar. I don't know if those are windows. Probably windows. I don't know if it's windows or solar. I would think windows letting the light in, but you never know. You know. Okay. Old St. Nicholas Church. Ready? This would be an awesome place to live. So much culture. So many lovely churches. That's a huge complex. Uh, and then when you get close to these things, they pull the markers on you. Can't read the marker. That's another thing we need to recommend is please don't have the markers fade out when you get close to them. Matter of fact, they should get bigger and start popping it. Oh, this is so lovely. Look at that. That is like classic. That's a tower. That's awesome. Right out of a fairy tale. Oh, I can't wait to get I can't wait to get a new computer. I can't wait for 2024. I can't wait for a new computer. I can't wait to see things in much higher definition. I hope, you know. Um that's one of the promises of 2024 is that they'll be able to deliver cities much better. So, um uh, I'm going to be waiting for a while to get uh, a new computer wait for prices to come down a little bit but i will definitely be able to get one this year okay five uh-huh Far out, man.
to the opera house. Another person in the chat room. And I missed him. Bassani. And center. Oh yeah, this one structure over here. That thing. Like the Space Needle in Seattle. Is it? It's a communication center? It seems to be. These are all communication devices. If they can't hear it there, you can't hear it at all. It's spying center. You know what everybody is saying, what everybody is doing. We monitor everything. Cool. They do incineration. Waste incineration plant. Smart. Although, it's a 3D printing world now. You gotta, you gotta think about that. It was like, there's trash. Like the Disney movie Wall-E, it's like the world's covered in trash. Things like that, where they talk about where we're going to be covered in trash. It's a 3D printing world now. There's there in my in my mind, there's no such thing as trash anymore. There is no such thing as trash in a 3D printing world. Everything can be broken down. Everything can be recycled. Everything can be turned into a powder for 3D printing. Um, and as the technology keeps evolving. Um, then you might look at places that are like incinerators in the future and go, oh my God, think about the millions of tons of stuff we incinerated that we could have been using as resources to build stuff. But, you know. Another museum, 140 West End.
why it's not putting me in the right view. That's the view I want. It's too bad you can't fly in drone mode, though. Okay, we're back to the bridges and the power station. Makes sense you would want the railway right next to it. Get my camera right underneath it. Five hundred. Five hundred. Easy. Easy. Stall. Stall. I can't. I can't tell what I'm doing from this angle. Other than crashing. Stall. 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 Yeah. Ah. Uh, those darn. Views get me. Okay. Oh, it does matter. You just noticed that in the title it says 111 and not 112, and you're right. Absolutely. Let me fix that right now. 112. Save that. Okay. So we were here in the nearest. That's surprising that they don't actually have an airport closer. They built so much up. Let's put us here. 
Let me show you that. Uh, actually, I don't. Try this. I haven't done it in a while. See if this thing works. All right, Henning, if you haven't left already, um, I understand. Yeah. Don't feel obligated. If you need to take off, go ahead and take off. Yeah, look at the bottom of the screen. It says, note that the first load, when you get into helicopters, they uh, it may take a while to load if you're loading a helicopter for the first time. Okay. Hopefully this works. He wants to turn. Stop turning. Darn you. So Now, this is a bust. Controls are shot again. Yeah, all the controls are blown out. Pitch isn't working, nothing's working. All right, well, we'll just, uh, we've done our landmark stuff today, so let's go ahead and go back to our 
aeroplane here and do a job or two. Try to make some money for the day. Okay. Or the wrong airport. Oh well, that's easily fixed. It's not so far from the one we were at. So it shouldn't cost us too much. not running. It isn't running, silly thing. But where were we? We were at EDFE. Six minutes after the hour, two o'clock in the afternoon here. Might as well enjoy a quick little smoke break. Smoke if you got them. What a day in the news here in the United States. We're dealing with all kinds of crappy things. Don't you love it when the government says, hey, let's pass a border bill. But then they fill it full of things that have nothing to do with the border. Don't you just love governments? Why? I don't understand. After 200 years of lawmakers and laws, why? I don't understand why we still need them. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why do we need Congress? Right? In the 1800s, we had no choice. We, we we couldn't take our buggy 
and horse and spend months in Washington uh, to have somebody represent us. And in the past, it made sense that you had to have people go to Washington for you. But now we live in an instant digital age and there's no reason anymore to have people representing us in Congress and when they get there I mean come on seriously how many of our politicians actually do anything that we want once they get there they're just there to beat off the teat man and enrich themselves and most of the people in Congress are millionaires it's just a giant grift now and we've got to do better and then again things like today let's go ahead and pass a uh a border bill that has nothing to do very little to do with the border ah let's just go ahead and give more billions over to ukraine you know oh and if we don't give the money to ukraine oh my god it's gonna be the end of the world those evil russians you know um so I am so sick of government. I'm so sick of them. Okay. I need to go 200 miles. 50 miles. 70 miles. 39 miles. Yeah. Something is broken now. I broke something. Let me... Uh, Jesus Christ. It's one of those days, man. It's a Monday. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Shutting down Neofly and starting it up again. It should know where we're at. It doesn't know where we're at. It's not kicking in the audibles. It's not giving us the job. Crap. I'm sick of it. I don't understand why we need Congress at all anymore. I don't understand why, uh, you know, here in Denver, or here in Denver, here in Colorado, in Denver, the capital, they want to create a new tax now. To, if you have an animal, including goldfish, if you uh, seriously swear to God, they're trying to propose a tax that if you have any kind of pet whatsoever, down to a goldfish, a parakeet, a dog or a cat, of course. You must pay a tax for that. I am so sick of government. I am so sick of these sons of sons of bitches. I'm so sick of them. Why? Why do we do that to ourselves? Why are we allowing these people? Why? At some point, we got to step back and say we. What, 200 years, you've already made as many laws as you need to make. We don't need any more laws. We don't need you. We would be better served by having a QuickBooks Pro AI handling our accounting and our budgets. And I am so sick of the way we have let things go. Uh, it's It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah, this thing doesn't know where we're at now. EDGM. So this has been broken somehow. EDDF. It sees us at EDDF. Oh my God, folks, I'm sorry. Just how embarrassing. This just, again, everything that can go wrong today. It's going wrong. And uh, Neofly now. Neofly normally is super stickler. Wherever your plane was at, it it usually never changes. And now it's it's saying, oh, yeah, now you're at a different airport. And uh, in the past, Neofly has always been, wherever you were last at, you have to be there to start your mission. So... Uh, 
when we uh, when I spawned the helicopter over here, it said we moved, but we didn't move. the The plane we're in hasn't moved. It's so funny. Tucker Carlson is over there in uh in Russia. He wants to interview Putin. Plenty of people in in our country over decades have interviewed Putin, right? But now because he's doing it, oh, he's a traitor. Oh, he's a traitor. We shouldn't let him come back to the country. And then they interview the Russian people over there and like, what do you think of Tucker Carlson? They're like, he's an upstanding he's an upstanding journalist. At least we get uh some accurate news from this guy. And even the Russians hate the Democrats. Cracks me up, man. Hey, Democrats, even the Russians hate you. They're like, you're... Even the Russians are telling us, man, you guys are letting your country get screwed up. You really got to rein in those Democrats. They're really jacking your country up. It's, uh, you know, it sucks when the Russians are the ones telling us how bad our country is. And how shitty our country is because of, of Democrats. Well, that's just propaganda. They just, just shut up. You're so full of crap. Okay, let me just pick anything. Minimum of 30 miles. Now it's not giving us any jobs. It sees that we're in the right plane, though. Fuel went out of sync. The fuel is supposed to be synced. Fuel sync is on. This whole thing is screwed up now. Ah. Unhandled exception. Now it won't take a job. Pilot. VF. No aircraft. Why? What is going on with you? Try to restart it again. We got crime rampant in our country. It's sickening. It's sickening every day. The news stories we see about the crime going on. Unbelievable. It's just... What the hell? I'm sick of criminals. I'm sick of shitty people. Everybody's a crappy person these days. I'm sick of our politicians. Okay, it's reloading. Am 
my God, if we vote for the Donald Trump, it's the democracy that's on the line. We're not even a democracy. Democracy is a is shit. Yeah, this is uh, this is broken. Okay, so Neo flies a bust now. The whole Neo fly is, is seems to be busted. Maybe it doesn't see that we have a plane. Maybe it's blown the plane out. I don't know. So then we can't even rent the proper plane that we have. Now we would have to go back out to the main menu and get the get more livery. Okay, so if we get, did it crash? No. Okay, so if we end up renting, where is that at? Caravan. The nearest caravan is at EDBC. So it blew out the plane for some reason. That's the way I'm figuring and that's what I'm getting. So it says the plane is at EDBC and it's the Kenmore livery one. So when I switch to helicopter, it seems that it Blew out the plane. Okay. So let's pick the right livery. Let's spawn at the right airport. It says the airplane is at. So we don't have to pay the fee to have the airplane moved. Plane has to be off. Okay. So let's see what happens now. Let's try to rent this thing. You really want to rent this aircraft? $308,000 deposit. Okay. The aircraft has been added at EDBC. So now we got to move the pilot. $3,000 bucks. And let's see if it sees us now in the right place. Hello, Captain. Nice to see you. Oh, we figured it out. So that's what it did. It blew the plane out when we switched to a helicopter. And it's never done that before. Now we're at EDBC. Is 
We'll be flying to Leipzig. Hey, pilot. Glad you could help with this job. I have some tourists that would like to take some photos as you circle the point of interest. Oh, shit. Hey, Captain. We have the tour guests climbing on board right now. Now, see, uh... I was just picking the nearest job. Again, now, again, now I'm screwing up. When you do a, uh... A tourism job in Neofly... It says right here, fly to Autostat and turn around, turn it around it to allow the tourists to take pictures, then bring them back to EDBC. I, I don't want to come back. Pilot, we're all set for departure. Remember to say cheese. Uh huh. Transporter, disembarkation in progress. Stand by. We need AM. The AM. So, thirty five miles or eleven thousand eight hundred and sixty eight dollars. Hello, pilot. The cargo is waiting for you at the usual location. Transporter from dispatch. Loading cargo. Please stand by. Transporter. Cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off. So this guy, I don't know where, down in Ar Argentina or Bolivia, I don't know where the hell he got elected. Ecuador, I don't know. But they've got another politician down down in South America. They're like, he's another Donald Trump character. And they're doing wonderful. They've cracked down on crime. They've arrested all the gang members. They've created a new maximum security prisoner for all the shitheads. And they're just no, and zero tolerance for crime. Just locking everybody up. All the gang members, you know, no more, no mas, and they're doing well. Used to be one of the most dangerous places in the world. They say now, it's, they say it's one of the safest. All because they elected somebody that they're saying is like Donald Trump, and that's all we want here. Is we, you know, we're sick of the the crime. We're sick of the lawlessness. Everybody thinks they can get away with everything, and they do. All these people that uh, commit crimes, and then they uh, immediately uh, get released. Uh, we're so sick of it. And you, and they're like, "Well, how? How dare you? How? How could you? How could you even consider voting for somebody like that?" Because uh, very, you know, the uh, there's there aren't any other politicians that we know or, or really can trust. And um, most everybody else is like a spy. It's like, wow, he's saying the right things, but all you know, all of his history is not. You know, people. We, there's so many people like that now in government. 
They will say whatever they need to say to get in there, and then they're complete turncoats. They're, they mean they do it deliberately. They're like, "Ha ha! All's fair in love and war." I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sign up as a Republican and say I'm a Trump Republican until I get in office. And then, ha 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 ha! Uh, that's you should just get shot for that. You should just get shot. So yeah, we're just we're, we're just sick of it. It'll be the end of democracy, but they're doing well in South America. We'll we'll shut up. They're doing just fine. Shut up. How dare you? Again, I don't know. I, 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 you know, I don't know what we need to do. Transporter. Convention of states, whatever we have to do. Again, maybe we need to really, really put our heads together and think about how much we need Congress anymore. How much we need these people. Nobody got a vote on sp spending money, uh, sending money to Ukraine. Nobody's had a vote on anything. They just get in there and they just do whatever they want. Going to get us into a world war now. I didn't vote on that. Did you vote on that? I didn't vote on that. How about this one from Democrats? Cars are being broken into. You got all these cars being stolen, carjacking, just just basically car theft. Is at an all-time high. Whose fault is it? The car manufacturers, say the Democrats. It's the car manufacturers who are to blame for the rise in car theft. Only a Democrat, right? Our president's out there rallying against supermarkets today. It's the grocery stores. They're, they're the ones that are screwing you. It's the manufacturer, it's the corporations and the grocery stores that are that are screwing you, not us. It's nothing that we did. Only a Democrat would say some shit like that. They're freaking evil, man. They're just evil. We've got to do better. We've got to just figure out how to reform Congress, reform everybody. If you're making millions in government, you become a millionaire in government, you should be thrown in jail. As soon as a politician in Congress becomes a millionaire, you should never be allowed in, in government again, ever. You should never be allowed anywhere near government. It was never meant to be a place you go to get rich. And now it is. They've managed to uh, set it up where they can't lose. I feel bad. Uh, I see all these videos on Twitter of all these young people that are just freaking out. They're crying. I can't, I can't live this way. I don't, I really don't appreciate the conservatives that are like, well, ha, welcome to the real world, snowflake. Ha, ha, ha. Now this is what it's like being an adult working nine to five. That's not the point these kids are making. The point the kids are making is they can't live. They everything immediately goes out the door. They're working so hard for nothing, and they're crying, and people are making fun of them, and that's not right. If it was the seventies, yeah, at least if you were working hard at least you're still banking there's money going into the bank you're like damn i'm working my nuts off but at least i can afford absolutely everything that i need and i'm putting money in the bank and that's just not what's happening today it's you work every minute of the day to make as much as you can and it all goes out to rent, to food, to utilities, and then the freaking taxes. A tax on this, a tax on that. You've been taxed on that, but then you get taxed again, then you get taxed again. And you, if you go buy something, then you get taxed again, and then they pay taxes on it. Come on, folks. Yeah. 
No more. No more. I don't want to say things like, don't pay taxes. Look, we just got to come together and look, screw them. Nobody pay your taxes. I would love to say that, but then, you know, I'm going to get arrested for some shit. You're, you're inciting people to break the law. Well, if it was a real law, then maybe, you know, I mean, I actually probably could get away with saying, look, nobody pay your taxes. Let's, let's just show them. Let's just rally together. Nobody pay your taxes. I'll get thrown in jail for it. But. Is it really legal that we're paying taxes? Does, it, according to a lot of sources, the IRS was supposed to only exist for a couple of years, a couple of years to raise money for uh, World War II. That was it. It's always a really good idea that they take advantage of. Hey, why don't we come together and create a service to raise some money to pay for the wars, and then after that we'll just get rid of it. Well, that sounds really, really great. We're patriotic. We'll do our part. And then the government's like, man, we're making so much money. Why don't we just keep this in place and just be really quiet about it? Because they're too dumb. They're so dumb. They won't pay attention to the fine print saying it was only supposed to exist for a few years and then go away. I'm going the right direction. Nope. Of course not. Kinius, why are you learning to fly? To get the hell away from people. Because if shit goes down, hey, I'm going to go steal a plane and I'm going to fly the fuck out of here wherever fuck away from you people this live stream is going to get banned now for me dropping f-bombs swearing so much today but i'm just so sick of it i'm so sick we can't come together and just put these assholes in their place Sick of them. Humors out there today saying, if we don't pay, we're going to send your asses off to war. If we don't pay up, we're going to escalate things to the point where there's a war and a NATO member is going to get attacked and we're going to send your asses to war. Enough. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And there is no better example of that than here in the United States with people in our Congress and government, especially the unelected bureaucracy that just sits there. Everybody's like, the deep state is a conspiracy theory. You're just one of them weirdos. You don't know shit. You don't realize there's a government inside the government that, uh, that never gets elected, and they just stay there. It doesn't matter who the president becomes. It doesn't matter what administration is elected into the government. They stay there. What do you mean? There's a group of people in the government that are the literal bureaucracy, like your librarian, right? They just sit there. doesn't matter who the president is. That librarian doesn't change. I'm making it really simple. Just imagine a librarian. Okay. But there's a lot of them all over the place. Thousands and thousands of them. And they do all the paperwork. They run things. They make sure all the paperwork's done. They file everything. They create this. They do that. They do this. They do all the work. They're not the ones that, that are out in front of the cameras. Stirring up civil strife and everything else. 
They are all the people behind the scenes that were never elected. And that is what we refer to as the deep state. The deep state's a conspiracy. Ha! Huh? That is ridiculous. Of course they want you to think that. But it's that simple. All the, and they don't want to, and they love it. They're actually running things. And up until President Trump did something, you couldn't fire them. How is that even possible? Once they're in there, they're in there like a tick. How is that possible? So he started making headway on, hey, you know what? We should be able to fire these people, shouldn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure we should. Yeah, yeah. So they're like, how did, how, again, that's, that's what, that's the best example right there. How dare you? How could you vote for somebody like Trump? Name me one politician on either side. One, please. Just one. That's, that has said that they would eradicate the deep state. They would get rid of the deep state. They would go they would go in there and make sure that we reform shit and get these people out of there. And they have or set it, set it up that they have to be elected too. You can't have people sitting there behind the scenes accumulating all this power. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely and that is where we're at. Pay up, or we're going to make things so bad, we're going to send your send your kids to war. We're going to kill your kids. Pay up. Pay up, shut up. There aren't any, I don't see any politicians out there that speak my language. There aren't. Hey, vote for me. I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to reduce... All the taxes. That's it. I'm reducing everything. But the state, the state, fuck the state. I don't care. We're going to be able to, okay, the people that are going to get funded in my administration, uh, the garbage truck drivers, that's it? Well, I can't think of a whole lot of other people that need funding. What? Who? Who else needs funding in the state? What? Well, we got to maintain the roads. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and uh, keep the money for the roads. What about this? No, we, the, the parks and stuff. Sorry, you you don't deserve parks right now. You you've spent. You're we're in debt. Sorry. You want to go mow the the parks? Go for it. Well, what about the libraries? Well, you have the internet now. But but I don't care. Shut it off. Well, arts and culture, I don't care. Shut it off. Reduce all the taxes. Reduce it so that everybody can live. The government taxes the, the crap out of the, the fuel. And then on top of it, our state, I don't know how what it is now, 50 cents or more. It's probably a, over a buck now per gallon. Nah, I'm going to drop back to 1980 prices. You can't do that. Why not? That's what I want to hear from my politicians. I'm going in there and I'm going to I'm going to I'm ready for them to smash it all. Nobody's getting any money. We're not raising taxes. We're going to cut taxes as low as possible and then try to figure out how to run the state again. Wow, the state sure has all the fanciest cars and trucks and trains and running around like little lords everywhere. 
Sorry, man. You should, you, should, you should keep all those vehicles in fine running order because you ain't going to get any more. Not for a while. That's that's what I want to hear from politicians. And what I'm hearing from politicians is well, we're going to tax your goldfish. Uh, and your kids should be able to change their name without you knowing. And pronouns and CRT and I'm going to unfund every one of you godless SOBs. And I'm going to kill all the state taxes. And then we're going to figure out what needs to be paid for. Why can't... Why aren't there politicians like that? Oh, and by the way, we're definitely going to keep funding the police. And if you commit a crime, hey, hey, expect to be shot anymore. We're done. I mean, I don't know what else we can do. You're not... You criminals out there aren't responding. You know that you can get away with everything. I don't know what else to do other than let people shoot you. You're committing a crime, a violent crime with a weapon. You can be shot. If you commit a crime and you're not using a weapon, uh, we're going to throw the book at you. You're not coming out. I will definitely fund the shit out of the prisons. That's it. Oh, and don't think you're going to get TV in prisons anymore. Oh, that's, I don't care. We love being in jail. you got to love criminals, right? Oh, we, we don't care. We love being in jail. Have you ever known a criminal? Have you ever had the unfortunate... I don't even know how to say that anymore. Uh, circumstance? of actually knowing somebody who's a criminal, they don't care. They love jail. I don't have to do anything. I get paid. I have television. I can order food whenever I want. I can get MP3 players, I can get CD players, I can get whatever I want. And if I can't get it, I'm going to steal it from somebody in here. Because we rule the jails. You think that's hyperbole? It's not. You ever seen 60 Days In? All that shit would be gone. Sorry. Uh, there's no such thing as you can order in food. They basically can order in Uber Eats. They're like, oh, I want chips and snacks and cookies and this, and they go over to a computer. And as long as they've got credits, they can order whatever they want. And then they use it like prison money, right? Got some Oreo, man. I got the Oreo. Why don't you go shiv Nick over there? Because I got the Oreo. All that would be gone. And sorry, you ain't getting shit. You get bread and water. You'll get some spirulina tablets that will give you all the protein that you need and more for your daily uh, allotment of protein to maintain optimal health. But you ain't getting shit more than that. You commit a crime in here while you're in jail? You, you aren't coming out. I would definitely create work details again and go to law and do whatever I had to do. Go to the Supreme Court. They're like, that's cruel and unusual punishment. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. You bleeding heart sons of bitches. It's not.
This country was never great. You're so full of shit. When we were doing everything right, and we were at our, when we had prosperity, did you know at one time they're like, school should be free. It used to be free. College. College used to be free in the United States. What happened? Well, people took advantage of it. Go figure. Everybody started coming here from other countries. It's flooding into the place. Take advantage of the United States of America, right? Well, we can't afford that anymore. There's so many things that we used to have that we don't have anymore because of bad management. And uh, our founders were really smart. Like the whole immigration thing, they're like, people aren't illegal. They should be able to move around anywhere they want. They knew our founders were smart enough to know back then that what happens to a nation if you just flood people in, you don't allow things to balance out. You destroy your country. And we have, you know, and they were smart enough to know that they had history on their side to, to say stuff like that. Well, history's already proven. That if you do this, you could, you could cause serious damage to the country and collapse it. And then Democrats with it, we're the smart ones. No. <laughs> no. No. We're the we're the smart ones. <laughs> Let's just have uncontrolled immigration. We're the smart ones. Anybody elected to Congress should have to write an essay before they get... You can even run for Congress. It has to be submitted and published. An essay... Just explaining uh, one country in history and why they collapsed. It's got to be an essay on maybe the top ten reasons why countries and nations and empires have collapsed. Just one nation. Just pick a nation, any nation throughout history... And do an essay on uh, the top ten reasons why it collapsed. I'm looking for the politician that will do every. You know, like I'll do the whole history of the world. Why? I'll show you how every nation, every empire has collapsed. What's been the most common cause of every empire collapsing since empires were created? And since the human condition doesn't change, it's, I'm going to prove to you that it's the same assholes then, that it's the same assholes now. The same people. Well, physically it's not the same, but, you know, DNA and the, uh, the human condition doesn't change. They're the same people. It's the same bad people doing the same shit over and over and over again. It's that simple with history repeating itself. It's that simple. There are some people you should never allow near government. about the insurrection thing that's another one that just pisses me off trying to blame 
people for an insurrection that wasn't an insurrection right after they commit, you know, again, people are, they're so, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those, if your team does it, it's okay. If your side does it. Dispatch to pilot. That looked like a butter smooth landing from here. Please exit the runway and taxi to parking. So if your party does it, it's okay. Parking and shut down your engine. And you have blinders on. But if the other party does it, oh, or anything like it, well, first of all, the Democrats will blame you of everything that they do. They will call you Nazi. They will. That's part of the playbook. It's that's straight out of like the communist and Marxist playbook. Label your enemies, blame them for everything that you're doing. Oh, so anyway, my point with that is, in 2016, from my perspective, and I'd like to just consider myself an American. I'm again, I'm I'm waiting to hear the politics. It doesn't matter what side they come from, mostly. Um, I'm waiting to hear politicians say what I want to hear. We're going in there. We're going to cut taxes. We're going to gut the deep state, and then we're going to figure out how to keep the government running. We're going to gut everything. We're going to start over. We're going we're gonna to gut every agency, every department, and we're going to put everything on hold. Everything. No foreign aid, no sh nothing. We're shutting everything down, and we're going to reduce taxes as much as possible, and we're going to try to ensure that the states do the same thing. And then we're going to see how much money we can bring in and what we have, and then we'll slowly start turning things on one by one, right? You don't have the money for it. We ain't paying for it, period. It's done. But, 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 no buts. No, no, no more buts. You've already done screwed everything up to the point where we really don't have many options but to do something like that. Shut everything down. Lower all the taxes as low as you can go. And then see what you can afford. Right? Because that's the way you have to live. That's the way we have to live. Right? Well, I can't afford my YouTube this month or my Netflix this month, so I better shut that off and I shut this off and I can't afford this. Better shut that off until I can. We need to start being that way with the government. And then again, yeah, I would be working with uh, these people creating AI. I'm like, create us a Congress AI. Congress is, is basically, we're supposed to be there just to do the budgets anyway and expenditures, right? Like I said, we don't really need any more laws. Look. Stand by, pilot. Cargo unloading. No more laws. No no laws for four years. I don't want any new laws made during my administration. As a matter of fact, we're going to cut laws and deregulate. I don't want any new laws made. You guys, you, you guys, that's what I mean. We don't need Congress this year. We don't need you. We don't need any changes. We don't need you. Transporter from dispatch. Everything seems okay. The customer looks happy. Mission ended. Okay. It's three o'clock. Everything is on board. So we made a little bit of money today. We got to see some cool sights at Frankfurt today. Uh I mean, I'm sorry, I uh become a really negative person when it becomes to politics i get you know angry i mean how can we not how can you not be angry at this point 
Even a guy like me doing a stupid live stream for flight simming, I'm losing my mind. Our, our lives absolutely depend on us coming together and realizing the enemy is the government at this point. Our governments, our state governments, and our federal government are our enemy. Hope I don't get arrested for that. Nobody can afford to live because of these people and what they have done and what we have allowed them to do. No more, no more, no more. Haven't you had enough? Aren't you sick of it? I'll try to come back tomorrow in a better mood, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think as soon as I get out of here, you know, it's back to checking the news and but social media and yada, yada, yada. And I'm just, just, it's just going to suck. It's going to suck. All right. <laughs>